Good morning friends. Today we are going to study how to find an equivalent resistance for a circuit or for a network given below in this diagram. So if we see, we have a circular network. We have points A and point B. There is a point C at the center of this circle. This is a circle. Consider I have drawn this by my hand. That's why it is not a shape of circle, but it is a circular shape. And we have resistances 4, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, and there is one at 8, 8 ohms. So the question is find the equivalent resistance at point A and B. So how, how to solve these kind of problems? So for that, what we can do is we have to start like simplifying this network. So how can you do that? So basically, like if you see, there is a common point C for all these resistances except 8 and 4 ohm. So we can do the same thing. Like if you can see here what I have drawn. So I have started with the point C. So C is the center. So start from the point B. So C to B, what is there? We have a 12 ohm resistance. So I started from C. There is a 12 ohm resistance. And the point is B. Is that right? Is that right? So I'm starting from C to B. Once we have that, then what we have C to again, this is B only. If you consider, if you go here, there is no resistance here. So basically C to B, there is again 12. So C to B, B is the same till point here. C, there is a 12. Again, you see C, 12 ohm resistance. Again, this point is B. So till this 8 ohm resistance, the point is still B. So still the 8 ohm resistance point is still B and we have this 12 ohm resistance, 12 ohm resistance and 12 ohm resistance which are 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Then we have 8 ohm resistance. So 12 ohm 1 resistance, 12 ohm second resistance, 12 ohm third resistance. Then we have 8 ohm resistance. Point is C is still at the top. The point is C. At the bottom point was B. But now if you see point will become A after this 8 ohm resistance. How? Because if you see, if you connect all these points till 8 ohm resistance other end, it is the same A point. So, if you consider this as the same A point, then again we will see there are 12 resistances, 12 ohm resistances, 3 12 ohm resistances, those are connected to point A from point C. So that's what I have drawn, 12 ohm, 12 ohm, 12 ohm, 3 resistances. The upper point is C only, bottom point is A till 8 ohm resistance. So if you understand, understood till this, you will see there is one resistance 4 ohm across A and B. So let's try to draw that. So across A and B, we have 4 ohm resistance. Okay. So after drawing this, we need to see which resistances we can reduce and which resistances we can see and use this series and parallel resistance formula. So if you see these three resistances, 12 ohm resistances are in parallel. Again, these three 12 ohm resistances are in parallel. So we know how to find out the equivalent resistance of these three parallel resistances. So what is that? That will be equal to 1 upon 12 plus 1 upon 12 plus 1 upon 12 is equal to 1 upon R equivalent. So that's what I have done here. If you see 1 upon R equivalent first, 1, I have just given a number 1. 1 upon 12 plus 1 upon 12 plus 1 upon 12. So that is 3 upon 12. And if I take a reciprocal, then R equivalent will become 4. Similarly, we have same circuit here, mini circuit on right hand side also of 8 ohm. So that also will become 4 ohm. So I have, I called it as R equivalent is equal to 4. Now, if we draw the abound network again, after using these 4 ohm equivalent resistances, how it will look like? So we have this point A and B, which has 8 ohms, A and B, 8 ohms. And from point C to A, we have 4 ohm, point C to B, we have 4 ohm resistance. C to A, 4 ohm resistance, C to B, 4 ohm resistance, which are equivalent resistances. And then we have four of this already across A and B. Now again, if you see, these are points C again, common point, and here eight and four, these are in parallel. So again, we can find their equivalent resistance as eight by three by formula. Now, if you 
draw this circuit again or network by putting it by 3 here so it will look like something like this triangular structure like point c is the same here in 4 ohm 4 ohm 4 ohm 4 ohm and we have 8 by 3 the equivalent resistance then here we will see 4 and 4 these are in series so their equivalent will become 8 then if we draw the circuit again then this 8 ohm will be in parallel with 8 by 3 i will show you so these equivalent of this 4 and 4 this will become 8 that will be in parallel with 8 by 3 so if you see 8 and 8 by 3 will be in parallel so if you find out their equivalent resistance will be equal to 8 into 8 by 3 divided by 8 plus 8 by 3 that gives us the value of 2 ohms so the equivalent resistance of this circular network is 2 ohms yeah so we are going to close this lecture at this moment thank you and have a great day